Oh, heck yeah. My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. I've been an animal lover my entire life. I grew up training cattle dogs and cow horses with my grandfather, and I was an avid falconer in my teens and early 20s. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since, and have devoted the last 14 years of my life to learning about this marvelous little predator. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Today we're doing some pest control for a local park with my mink Sherlock. Mink are a semi-aquatic member of the weasel family. Like their cousins river otters, mink hunt along waterways for fish, crayfish, frogs, snakes, and waterfowl. But unlike river otters, mink will also hunt on land like their other cousin the weasels, preying on land-loving prey like mice, rats, chipmunks, rabbits, and squirrels. In addition to these prey items, mink also hunt another animal that is larger and much more aggressive than most of the prey animals on this list. The infamous muskrat. Muskrats are a large, semi-aquatic rodent that sometimes cause problems for people with their digging. Muskrats dig for all kinds of reasons. They dig to make a home, they dig to find roots to eat, and sometimes they dig for no apparent reason at all. All of this digging can cause quite a bit of erosion and sometimes even lead to flooding problems. This particular park has hired me to take care of their muskrat issue because they prefer to use a natural approach to their pest control problem. What better way to reduce the muskrat numbers than with the muskrat's number one natural enemy, the American mink. As mentioned earlier, mink eat a wide variety of different prey animals, but one of their favorite and most difficult dinners to acquire is muskrat. Because muskrats and mink live in the same habitat, muskrats have had thousands of years to adapt to living alongside their worst enemy. But muskrats are survivors and have perfected the art of avoiding mink predation just as much as mink have perfected the art of preying on muskrats. Here in this park, the habitat only supports muskrats and not mink. Due to this lack of wild mink here, the populations of muskrats can grow quite out of control. That's where Sherlock and I come in. Since the habitat isn't appropriate for supporting a population of wild mink, I bring my mink to this park at least once a month to essentially do what wild mink would do if they lived here. That is, control the muskrat population. As mentioned earlier, muskrats are not an easy meal for mink. Muskrats are fast swimmers and extremely aggressive. You wanna fight me, huh? They have large, sharp teeth, which they actively use to defend themselves against the mink. Mink have lightning fast reflexes and do their best to avoid being bitten by the muskrat. Lucky for the mink, they are exceptionally good at avoiding being bitten, and so injury while hunting muskrats is incredibly rare. Despite this fact, mink are fully aware of the danger they are in if they mess up when confronting a muskrat. Because of this, they are typically very careful when hunting muskrats, and from time to time will become intimidated by a muskrat and completely quit. In fact, not all mink will even hunt muskrats. Most female mink, and even some males, are simply too timid to hunt a healthy adult muskrat. Instead, they will either avoid hunting muskrats altogether, or they will only occasionally prey on sick, injured, and young individuals. It takes an exceptionally confident mink to consistently hunt healthy adult muskrats, and in my experience, mink who are confident enough to hunt them consistently are typically males. In the past, Sherlock seemed invincible when out hunting muskrats. He would catch even the largest and most aggressive individuals. But the last time we took him out to do pest control, Sherlock finally met his match. Finally, he ran into a muskrat who intimidated him and made him quit. 
Was he intimidated because he was having a bad day or was it just an extra mean muskrat? Well, there's only one way to find out. So we're back at the same park, looking for the muskrat who bested Sherlock to see if this time Sherlock would conquer this extra spunky muskrat. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Okay, let me get some rocks. How's it going? Good, how are you, Joe? Pretty good. Oh, heck yeah, there we go, you're alive. He's looking for it. Where's the muskrat? Where's the muskrat? Right there in the water where he's throwing stones. Oh. I'm really happy to see Sherlock overcome his weak moment from our last video and not let this muskrat get the better of him a second time. You may be wondering how I know this is the same muskrat who bested Sherlock in our last video. While I can't say for sure that it is, I'm relatively confident that it was the same muskrat. Muskrats are highly territorial and will sometimes kill other muskrats just for coming in their territory. So typically, muskrats stick to their own territories for obvious reasons. The fact that this muskrat was found in the exact same little stretch of stream makes it highly likely that it was the same individual. Do you know what a weasel is? Have you heard of a weasel? Have you heard of a weasel before? Or an otter? Do you know what an otter is? You know, an otter is. You know those water... You know the water... Um, what do I call them? Like water seals almost, but smaller. Yeah. Yeah. So this guy, this little mink, he's related to weasels and otters. And what they do is they go down in the water and they look for little animals to catch. So in the wild, they catch fish and frogs and ducks and rats and muskrats. Oh, wow. But we don't want him to catch any ducks or fish. We want him to catch this little muskrat. So the muskrats, they dig little holes in the bank, and sometimes people will step in the holes and hurt themselves. Oh. And then there's also regular rats that get in people's houses, and they come live here too because people feed the ducks. So he, he's going to hunt them out. So this little guy, he's going to go try and find it and hopefully catch it. How oh, cool. You know how our cat, Cece, catches mice? She looks for mice and stuff. Thank you guys so much. You're welcome. Really appreciate you taking that time. Thank you. You're welcome. Cool. He's welcome to watch. We appreciate that. I'm excited to announce to everyone that we have new merch. So we have a new t-shirt design, challenge accepted. In addition to that, we also have hoodies, beanies, and we have youth-sized clothing as well. So jump on over on the link in the description below if you want to take a look at our merch.
Now, if you're really wanting to dive into mink and learn the nitty gritty details, I would strongly recommend you read my book, The New Sport of Minkinry.